My uh, first question is uh, a little bit about the differences between the version one, the original MicroPulse P3 probe and the revised uh, P3 probe. <clears throat> Specifically, what are the differences in energy delivery and safety, uh, but also how does this affect uh, the way we, we treat patients with the different probes? So the panel consensus was that when it comes to energy delivery of the original MicroPulse P3 probe compared to the revised probe, uh, the panel members found that they use higher energy with the revised probe in, uh, for instance, higher power and slower sweep velocity, as you heard. Uh, the revised MicroPulse P3 probe also allows for a more consistent treatment and reduces the side effects associated with an anterior treatment versus a proper posterior treatment. And so we're gonna highlight a couple of the differences in the probe design that, that affect these parameters. So uh, first of all, you see on the left, the version one probe, uh, it has a rounded tip, um, which uh, makes it not, not uh, sit on the eye. It can sometimes rock on the eye because it's not fitted to the surface of the eye. And therefore that can lead to sometimes more anterior delivery and some of the um, increased complications that you can see such as inflammation, and uh, increased pupillary size. Um, the version two probe on the uh, right, uh, by contrast, has a concave tip, which sits on the surface of the eye and keeps it a little bit more uh, in place and directs that delivery of the laser energy more posteriorly where you wanna see it. Um, and we think that that has uh, an effect on uh, the type of complications that you see with, with the delivery being too anterior. Um, going back to the version one probe, uh, if you notice on the bottom part here, uh, it has a, a small uh, uh, portion here with a little bulb at the tip, uh, which is the end of the, uh, uh, the, the uh, laser part of the device. Um, and that tip does indent the globe uh, when you press on the globe and do your sweeps. And that may actually uh, give you uh, more laser energy delivery, um, even at a, a lower uh, energy power level. Uh, as you can see on the right side, there's uh, that concave uh, tip surface has a smooth interface with no indentation. Uh, so when pressing on the globe, it does not really indent the globe uh, in that uh, part where the laser energy is being delivered. And therefore, we believe that uh, the energy delivery is more uniform and is less uh, than you're getting with uh, the version one probe with similar treatment parameters. So I just wanna show you, this is a patient uh, being treated with the version one probe, and uh, we'll go over a quick case uh, study on the version two probe. <clears throat> so this is a 78 year old male with severe ocular surface disease with uh, OCP and secondary glaucoma, advanced cupping, pressure is greater than 20 on maximum medications, has a keratoprosthesis, and uh, most importantly, he has uh, no room in here for treatment. He has a, both a medial and a lateral tarsorophy and very limited surgical options. So we could not treat this patient uh, with the version one probe, but with the version two probe, uh, you can see we're able to get in there. Um, and uh, because the, the foot plate of the probe is smaller, uh, we're able to get it in there uh, and, and do a full you know, 360 treatment on this patient, both superior and inferior. Um, and so uh, not only does the version two probe change the, the power settings that we do and uh, gives you more consistent uh, energy delivery to the uh, posterior area rather than anterior area. We believe it decreases complications um, and uh, it makes it more versatile in patients, uh, extreme cases such as this. Okay, thank you.